Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer Channel. Happy and hopeful New Year to you. It is New Year's Day. When I, it's New Year's Day, I always think about college football season. The big bowl games kick off. And here I'm going to finish the season that I had going this fall and now winter time with Notre Dame Fighting Irish. My team is in the Gator Bowl versus Georgia Tech. And I finished top 10 in the league, but wasn't able to crack, uh, well, I guess the Gator Bowl is a major bowl. So here we are in the Gator Bowl, and we're going to sim through a few games here and get to the game we're supposed to play. What's up, Adam, in the chat? These are all national broadcasts now. Tangerine Bowl, Nevada, Nevada Bowl. Some cool logos each team has. I am on, Mike. Good to see you, too. So I'm now concluding some of the seasons I started. Finished the NBA Inside Drive 2004 season the other day. And now it's time to finish this one. What's up, Rice? There it is, Notre Dame, Georgia Tech, they're 9-3. I'm 10-2. Let's see how this one goes. I looked up Gator Bowl online before I started this stream, and I saw what the current logo looks like. It looks terrible. It's like Tax Slayer. There's no Gator on the logo anymore. It's not very attractive. It's completely marketing for Tax Slayer. I don't really know what's going on with the bowl games this year. I've heard that Notre Dame is in the top four. But don't quote me on it. I haven't been paying attention since I took a look at the first game of the season. And there's been some good discussion as I've been playing a lot of Madden EA Sports PS2 era on the channel this uh last December now that the month's over that NCAA football is actually a better game than Madden and I do tend to agree it gives you a little bit more options as far as plays you can lateral you can run the option as well uh, but Madden has all the star power of the NFL players so it's hard to really figure out which one you would rather go back to if you had to pick the two it doesn't really matter. You could go back to both and enjoy them just the same. I like that this game has a little bit different um, to offer besides just being an exact clone of Madden. Because they could have easily have done that. But for NCAA football, they had different plays. Uh, they could open it up a lot more. There's some trick plays in the NCAA games that aren't Madden. And of course, like I said, you can run the option plays. And here we go. Here's my big time quarterback. Carr Lyle Holiday is the quarterback. My running back is Julius Jones. For most of the season, I didn't even look it up. I just went straight to Notre Dame and was played by the team Prestige. Thanks, guys. I really don't mind that they don't make NCAA football games anymore. These games are fine for me to enjoy the experience of playing a college football video game. I have played the Doug Flutie maximum football before. That's a pretty good one. That was a bad kick to start it off. They throw a flag. And we've got Gator Bowl's not off to, to a good start. But Maximum Football's a, a small team of guys. It doesn't have the actual NCAA license. But if you're into college football stuff, it's a good one to check out. They'll start this drive at the 35. Notre Dame lines up defensively. They are Georgia Tech. 
running up the middle with a fullback right off the bat. Adam says he wishes they made a new NCAA football game. Like I said, I don't mind. There's so many good ones to go back and explore. I've decided really that if I want a simulation experience football-wise with kind of arcade feel controls that EA Sports ones are, oh my goodness. Didn't even look like he was going to catch that. Happy New Year to you, gotta be retro. Will it be better or worse? With this quarterback. Um, Sometimes you see wide receivers that don't I would say it's game, going to be more of the same. Right. Maybe and not worse not because you know what to expect. It's First just going to come down to how you navigate it as an individual. For me, defense. I know that uh, media and government's not letting up, so Number it's time to create a different experience in my reality sure and see who else is so along for the ride. Bunched into one place makes it really difficult to find an opening to run to. Uh, holding out hope that <laughs> the uh, things will go back to normal anytime soon next year. It is not going to happen. And another bad defensive play. How long will... <laughs> yeah, the, the pandemic will go on another year. I mean, now that it, take, it took nine months to birth the vaccine, the, this next year will be more masks and more pushing people to take the jab I did I saw NHL rewind on uh, NHL 21 that's pretty cool uh, I also like that you can use the current players if you're into the players that are in the NHL now jerseys are kind of similar color they got the same color helmets I know a lot of guys were disappointed that you couldn't play the NHL 94 version online. I think that was a... The Fighting Irish come out in a two-tight end set. They, they missed something there, is what I'm trying to say. A lot of people want to bet. All right, the option didn't work there. Yeah, a lot of people were saying, you know, in the U.S. at least after election, things would go back. I didn't, I never believed that for a second. But I held out hope that maybe they were right. All I could do is try to predict the script. I don't know what it is. I'm just happy he didn't pick that. Whew. I am not off to a hot start. After playing all these Madden games, I have to get back to the plays that it would go to. You like... NCAA Football 14 16, 2K2, the Rose Bowl one on Dreamcast. Yes, sure handed guy. Play for the tie. Yeah, it's not. It's not going the way. The, the script is working pretty well. Uh, people don't really seem to know that they have the power to just break out of some of the stuff that they don't want to do. Number seven, drop to throw. Oh Steps no. Just throws this one away. That's uh that's from playing too much Madden and hitting triangle to try to run with the quarterback. I guess <laughs> Adam's talking about Alex Jones. Alex Jones is controlled opposition uh, he will say some things that will come to fruition, but he's he's no one you wanna follow to lead you. Number seven with four wide receivers. Number seven back to throw. Here comes a pressure. One hander. Did he get it? I like that they have the Gator Bowl, bowl logos. Oh wow, that was a huge catch. Not only did he catch it, it was a first down. 
First and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Why is tie your favorite result, Teddy? This is not going to work, is it? Oh, they know the the left right on the audible. Number seven on the option. Well, they didn't see that coming, busting it up right up the middle. See, this is fun just to run these option plays in this game. Love it. Yeah, he made them look bad right there. Real bad. Let's get him with the... See if we get Julius Jones going. Start hollering Wolverine. The yellow jacket. Come out in a 4-3. Oh, no. That guy. Well, it didn't work out too well. I got challenged a while back by someone, and they're like, dude, you don't know how to throw the slants. So then I started throwing them, and uh, they worked out well once I could get them down. Get another slant there. Number 21 is my stud receiver. He's like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he's the fastest receiver I have, and he's just... I think maybe 6-5. I forgot already. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. Number seven hands off right side. Number 58 with a takedown at the 28-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on a carry. Running game's going nowhere fast. Second and eight coming up here. This is the ninth play of this drive. Rematch for ties. I see what you're saying. Yellow jacket. Put four men up front. He drops back. He rolls out to the left. Number three. Number three. Touchdown, and Notre Dame. Touchdown. First, and we got the cheerleaders out here today. And there's the Toyota Gator Bowl graphic. Hey, this is just a great play by the offense, Brad. Watch that delivery. It doesn't get much better than that. See if the defense could shape up after that big touchdown. Pick is up and it's good. So were there any college football bowl games on today? Adam wants that Madden 04 fantasy draft. If I do have the energy and time to do a stream later today, it will either be that or I'll play some more of the Madden 13 on the Wii. The arcade style game. I had fun with that. People seemed to like the music of the game. Oh, thank goodness. Quarterback's just rifling, man. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on their own twenty. And the 03 games at EA Sports are the first ones where you can look at the defense like this, which is just an absolutely huge help. Number thirteen, back to pass. Bumble. Number forty two brings him down at the twenty six yard line. Couple bowl games today and tonight, that's what I figured. Oh, they're packing goal line, huh? All right. Bring a quarter corner blitz just in case they come left. The fighting Irish come out in a four three. Bring the safety up. Stops him. Three and out. Go to tech. Give me that ball back. Well, the offense hates to see that. The defense again, coach, stepping up. Cincinnati lost in Mercedes-Benz Stadium to Bulldogs. Rose Bowl is one of the semifinal games. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I just got the fair catch. How's it going, Crestline? Yeah, first drive was fluid besides that one throwaway. Number 22 lines up as a single back. Number seven on the option right. Number four, take what I could get. Maybe there wasn't anyone outside, but that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball. Seven seven. Now the teams have switched sides, and we're ready for the start of the second quarter. Oh, 
Where's all those deep outs that I had? That was what I scored the last touchdown on. This play clock is fast. I gotta adjust to that. I'm not taking this loss. Still the first half I can afford to do that. Oh, Notre Dame, Alabama today, huh? Any fans in the stadium for that one? Slant's been working beautifully. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. I don't and in know this where case, I found that nice job. I liked it. There's a little one. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. <laughs> I'm serious. Are there any fans? <laughs> Notre Dame comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. He rolls left. Oh, he Number got right in there. Knocks it away. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand There's on some it. Quick slants. Let's see if I could clear out the left side. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 45. Ooh, yard a mask and distance one. Will seem to be like the, the only uh, in-person stadium experiences you can get back. these days. He's oh no, I didn't even see him. What's up, Sporting Life? A big time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He no thanks on the play action. Right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. They're down and long coming up Clemson, Ohio State right later up. tonight. Looks like they're... Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Jets that one. Oh, he broke it. He's at the 40. Inside I totally the lucked out on that on one. Play. Oh, you got to be kidding me. A holding penalty? Oh, I guess not. I guess it didn't luck out. Here's a third and long situation. Or Dame's getting whooped against Bama. Georgia Tech brings in their nickel package. Maybe this Number is a better game to watch. Look. Tight end. Number it's a big down. one. Maybe I could go for it. What's up, Troy? Three yards. I think I can handle that. I don't like that play. This one will give me some options on the left. See if anyone's open. Square or L, or I could just run and pick Number it up. 22, alone in the backfield. See how it goes. Back to pass. He scrambled. Oh, <laughs> not well. Number 96. Not well. What happened to the football on that last play? Brad, it looks like uh, fullback run. The They've been good to me, but three yards out, I don't know. That football. Man, it's easy to say that from up here in the booth. But that's how it worked out. A whole other story. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Would have been better than what just happened. The Yellow Jackets line up in an I formation. Computers running a, a lot of spies. Number 13 drops back to pass. Let's it go. Intercept. Right back. Free safety comes up with a big one. Gets credit with that last interception. And let me tell you the reason why. He watched the play develop and made a break on the ball. And then he made a great catch. Those are all the ingredients that you need. To intercept the football. The Go back to the option. Yeah, we need that one back. Now he pitches it. Number 43. Nothing really doing. He looks to be hurt down there. Try running again. Second down and eight to go. Ball on the 42. Number seven comes to the Broke anything with the running back just yet. Should be due up. up the oh, not with that kind of pursuit. And down he goes at the 43 yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Well, yeah, just about a yard. That's about it. They're down in seven. Ball on their own 43. And my quarterback's out of the game. Number That's one, interesting. Number one, drops to throw. 
He's looking. Rolls to the whole one-hander. This guy comes through. Two one-handed catches in this game. First down. That is unbelievable. Wow, Kirk. This quarterback showing some big time nerves out there. Third long, it's just like first and ten to this guy. 57 yards receiving. Beckham quarterback now in the game. Number one gives it up the middle. And still nothing on the ground. He picks up a yard on the play. Second and nine. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Linebacker has a broken finger on Georgia Tech. He'll be gone. Comes to the line. Three wide. He drops back. Uh -oh. Looking. Throws it out there. Picked off. Safety. It was a long punt. He was totally covered. I should have never thrown that. But oh, they're on the one yard line. So here's a scoring opportunity. Why is he out? Injury report. Not injured. I don't know what happened. We'll see on the next. Their, their goal line. I'm bringing. I'm bringing a blitz. I'm trying to score here. Ball on the one yard line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Number thirteen. Option. A little juke. Wow, they're nuts. See, this is how you defend the option. They do a good job of containing, and the quarterback had nowhere to go. And they but to are go in down. deep. Bring the 4 4 mad blitz. Second and 11. They've got their backs against the wall. Number two lines up in the deep back. That guy's back if they try to throw. Right. There we go. Got the safety. The <laughs> Sometimes interception, interceptions Nine. pay off. Georgia Tech, seven. Got him on the one. What's up, Bradley? How's it going? Yeah, I kind of switched to a lot of Madden uh, in December. I did play this once or twice, but uh, I thought it was good to save it for New Year's Day anyways. All right, we got my quarterback back in. That's good. They'll start this drive at the 48-yard line. Two-point lead. The yellow jacket bring in the nickel package. Drop back to pass. Looks. He nope. Oh, come on. The ball's incomplete. The wide receiver. What happened? That ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just missed by. Yeah, it was a bad throw. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Gator Bowl. Freedom Football League. Number People seven, in the stands here today. He's looking. He'll just take off with this one. He's at the 40. And he gets a big game Doing what this guy does Here best when he gets out. Carry to step out of bounds and running the ball. Ball. Can't find the outplay that I used earlier. Outs don't work as good in this in this as Madden though. He dropped back. Looking. He's try my big time he's receiver. Fired. He's not dropping it. And it's and he's All timeout. I got one timeout left. It's first and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Big time in the red zone. Gonna try to hit the tight end here. Georgia Tech lines up defensively in a four three. Safety's Number back there back though. Rolling out to the right side. He's inside the ten. Uh, I won't a use my last time out yet. I'll tell you what, guys, this guy's pretty athletic. I think I got Just dual like outs, you, so I could try to hit three on the other side. I don't think this was a design play. Right up the middle, touchdown Notre Dame. Huge. A lot of these games this season have been close. And uh have been fighting from behind a lot, but this first half has gone good after their first touchdown. And it hasn't always been pretty at times. I threw a pick. Uh, lost a fumble. Fourth down. But still in the lead 16 to 7. Number five fields it in the end zone. 
And they're just packing it in. Ready for the second half with their goal line formation. Go to work at the 20 yard line. The Fighting Irish line up in a 4 3. Well, let me know if you guys want to see more college football games. I know NCAA Football 06 is the one that people say is the best of this era. I have the game. I just have to locate where it is. I got some stacks of games and other games in the, the closet back there. And I'll let this go to halftime. Up by nine. Ball on the 22-yard line. I also have 04 and 05. This one's the one I played the most of. Here. The score at the break. Notre Dame, 16. Georgia Tech, 7. We're ready to start the second half. The team Lost the a turnover battle, but up 9. If I could score on this drive, I can start to put them away. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. He's hit and got away. Broke a tackle, but they're right there to scoop it back up. Oh, there it is. An ace slot. The wide receiver right, deep out. The yellow jacket. Use a four-man front here. Drops back to pass. Now he's scrambling. And he's shoved out of bounds. We'll take it. A good ten yards on the pickup. Spread them out, run the ball. Ball on their own 29. Maybe could bust a bigger one here. These are good downs to do whatever you want. Throw it deep. Run the ball. Handoff up the middle. Number four with a takedown at the 33-yard line. The halfback runs for four yards. Passing has been going pretty well in this one. With the help of the scrambling quarterback. Notre Dame. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Oh, Look. no. And he's be Saw this blitz, no one picked him he up. A hold of the quarterback and would not let go. Huge loss. Right a crack in the line and get a big sack. Second and long, ball in the 25. Defense lines up at a was only three. first down. Number seven, back to pass. Oh, again. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. How do they get so much pressure on that play? Well, the reason is simple. That one the I didn't really even just see. Beat the O line off the snap. Easy. Third and long. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Now let's just throw it up to your best receiver and hope he catches the ball. They come out with three wide receivers. Number seven drops back. He's looking. He throws it. And it falls in close. Seam route. He got his hands up. A little too much that time. And I'll be punting away. Got to play some defense. Didn't work out how I wanted it to. Number forty-one calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in. Deep punt, no return. I'll take it. These guys look like they're going to line up in a passing formation. And I'm going to bring it outside. Some outside heat here. They'll get the ball here at the 39. Looking weak in the coverage, though. The See if they recognize it right away. Back to pass. Under heavy they do. Complete. Brought down at the 48. If I would have just committed to that guy, I would have had a chance at picking the ball off. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Oh, well, just hit a little bit of a hitch. Number 13 has four receivers lined up here. Run on, run on. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Horrible and coverage by the corner. Number 34 brings him down. This is the thing about these college football the games the is we talk all the time about the emotions you of never know what kind of coverage you're going to get from these corners. I end up doing stuff like that. It's first and 10, ball on the 26. Quarterback looked like he had a pretty good season. Georgia Tech comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's incomplete. Throwing deep. All right. We got to stop. That's better than you know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense all is the other drives down in the end zone. Or all the other downs on this series. Second and ten. Ball on the 26. 
Georgia Tech lines up in a double tight yeah, I guess with college football you really can't control to oh he's wide open he wasn't really wide open the safety just didn't get over there and now the pressure's on for me to actually score they answered in a hurry and now we got a better game See if we can bust one. Oh, he gets through. Good return. He got a nice return on that one. He really did, Brad. Now let's see if the offense can come out and build on some of the momentum from that return. I don't want to take any big sacks this time. First and ten. Ball on their own forty-one. The they just Irish compiled on that last drive. Number seven on the option. I didn't even side. see that guy coming. With a at the oh boy. No All right, game. let's try to go back to the slant. So it's second and ten. Ball on the forty-one yard line. One of their top receivers only out for a quarter. Georgia Tech lines up defensively in a three-four. That really was not there. He got hung up on some of the DBs. Nearly intercepted that time. Well, on that last play, you see the defense do a good job of playing coverage, and the quarterback telegraphed his pass the whole way. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the forty-one. Offense really falling asleep. Some of these plays. Line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. Go for it. Got it. Let's go. Keep Good the keep the chains you know moving. This play so successful was the vision of the ball carrier. Nice job. We'll go back to these tight blocks. end corners. Ball on the you get enough time. They're usually pretty good. Notre Dame comes out with two tight end. Under pressure. He's open. Looking, fires a bullet out to the right. Come Number on, break 10. it. Yes. Yeah. Touchdown. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. What a big, big. Whatever zone they were playing there, there was nobody there, really. Just one guy, two guys diving at his feet. Tight ends breaking tackles in this game. Back with the two score lead. Safeties are huge. Because even if they go for two, you're still up a score. score Notre Dame, 23. Georgia Tech, 14. Notre Dame lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. So, yeah, moving forward on the channel. Uh, I think I will be doing some more of those fantasy drafts. Not only just in the Madden games, but some NBA games. Hopefully, my cousin Slapshot Sean can do some... MLB and NHL games. What's up, OSU? How's it going? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe we caught that. That's what I heard. That's what Sporting Life said, that Notre Dame's getting crushed by uh, Alabama. Well, they're not getting crushed on the... On the Retro Sports Gamer channel, this Gator Bowl is going pretty good. 23-14. I'm the higher ranked team here. You're a big Notre Dame fan, so you're not happy about it? Oh, well. The Fighting Irish line up with six defensive backs. I know when your team makes the college football playoff, you probably want them to do well. I haven't watched anything but the first game. I tried to sit down and watch another game, and they were talking about compliance and social distancing and stuff, and I just said, okay, I can't do this anymore. Because <laughs> the first Notre Dame game was actually the only watchable thing, sporting event. Like, even the commercials weren't as bad. Um, but yeah, after that, after they canceled some games and then 
That's what they were talking about in the next game. I said, forget the it. Teams coach sends his punt team out Just the, the highlights. That's what you look at. Yeah, might as well. Number 22 takes it at the oh, little manual spin move. He jukes. And they come up big on the special teams there. Boy, I'll tell you, if there's a hole to be found, this kid's going to find it. Sensational punt I'm going back to the well. The, this the tight end is killing on this. Looks like they're loading up the other side, though. We'll see how this plays out. The fighting Irish come out in the ace formation. Blocking's good. He rolls out to the right. This one's Ooh, the he needs a nice little bit more arc on, on it. The guy in the really zone got to it. Play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the forty-two yard line. Really got a chance to put him away here. Don't want to squander the opportunity. He's looking. He's under pressure. Oh no! And he's I thought he was going to keep going with the, they just got to the, quarterback for the fourth time defensive today. player, but he did not. The quarterback better. They're giving up sacks left and right. Oh, I mean, I thought he was going to keep going with the wide receivers. What I meant. And he didn't, so he smashed me. He broke the first tackle. Slant will execute. I guess 21 was up for a drop. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide and I'm not going to do anything crazy. Just punt it away. I got the nine-point lead. But they might be in four-down territory in this fourth quarter. I'm not sure if this is at Jacksonville Stadium. I was looking up some, you know, Gator Bowl logos before I started this game, and it looks like Notre Dame was in the Gator Bowl quite a few times. And not only that, but they played Georgia Tech in 1999 at the Gator Bowl. There was a Notre Dame ring that said Jacksonville. Hangs on to it. Number 26 brings him down at the 27. They pick up a few yards there. Those are the details I sometimes don't pay attention to. The secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. Notre Dame comes out in a 4-3. Drop back to pass. Oof, nothing. I was ready to lay him out. Mud alligator armed that one. Second and ten. Ball on their own twenty-seven. Yeah, it's tough to play though the gold on gold. Because the helmets are the same color. Messed me up a few times. Recognizing the pressure. They pick up solid yardage there. So it's third and one, but I have to assume that it's four down territory for them now. Bringing the mad blitz. Got guys back, though. Equivalent to a gauge eight, and no one's back there. Number 34 with a takedown at the 41. He picks up the first on that run. This is what is called the old counter play. You see the lineman pull one way. The play is designed to go the other way. And here the tailback picks up nice yardage and another first down. They come out with three wide receivers. Number 13, back to pass. He throws it. Defense does well enough there. Must be some people watching college football today what's up Joe mama ball on their own 41 four three defense number 13 oh get in number 33 brings him down at the 41 back to the line of scrimmage and that's it all right let's bring a little bit of pressure see if I could find a nickel Cheat strong, two guys Third coming in. Coming up. This is a seventh play of this drive. I prefer to play defense on the tight end. GT should come back. We'll see about that. Lines up with three receivers. Not on that throw. He's looking for his man, and they couldn't hook up on that one. And let's see what they do. Fourth down, they are going for it, like no I expected. Up to that one. He just misfired it. And. 
I'm gonna bring some more pressure. And play man straight up. I don't think they have any choice here, guys. They're gonna go for it. And the pressure didn't get there in time. At the 41 yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here. Big fourth down conversion for Georgia Tech. This poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Back to pass. He's looking. He wants it all oh, going long. That should have been Number user pick. Tips it away. How about that play? They tried to squeeze that I one was in there. there. I was ready. I had my hands up, Second and he and just ten. dropped it. Tenth play of this drive coming up. QB spy here. No responsibilities. Number thirteen drops back. He's on the run. Ooh, I don't think he was out of the pocket. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it oh, seems he's like he's hit. allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. Yeah, no what pick. He needs to do is make some plays and start Maybe the guy's the hands are instead. stone. I don't know. Notre Dame comes out defensively with six defensive backs. We're hot. We're hot. Number thirteen drops back to pass. Uh oh, they got Looking. too much time to throw. To right. He's gonna try and scramble. <laughs> Incomplete pass. It's too short. Well, the man lock is working pretty good. Hopefully we can come through one more time. Get this front four in there. Four wide. I'll give this running back some no, he's just blocking. This is the guy getting torn up, but he makes a huge stop. And they're gonna have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. You gotta go for it and give yourselves a chance. And here we go. Let's Run the ball a little bit, see what happens. They'll get the ball here at the 41 yard line. Defense lines up in a 3 4. Count it up the middle. Number seven, and lose some yards. Nothing doing. Tackle for a loss on the play. Well, that play mm, might be work. game. This is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged we'll see. in there and they stuffed it. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 39. The Fighting Irish. It's looking Line good. We'll say that. He drops back. He steps up. Number seven is going to be sacked for a loss. Big time. That gives this defensive loss here. Sacks for the ball game. The defense came Might have to end up punting. To put the pressure on the quarterback. It's safe to say they're happy with their performance. Third down and long. Spread them out. Maybe ball someone will be open on this one. Number 22 lines up at the single back. Back to pass. He goes downtown. Oh, come on. Number three drops the ball. Well, the they do still have the Gator Ball, I think. I was talking about that logo earlier. It looks like Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. I don't know if it's from this year, though. I didn't verify that. But there basically wasn't a Gator on the logo anymore. I thought it was pretty lame. Get him. Huge return. That was an excellent return. That time the coverage got held up on the line of scrimmage. And time to play some defense. That last throw was right there. The receiver dropped it. Number two, alone in the backfield. Ran 15, that play for a throw. touchdown earlier in the game. That I could live with. A five yard in the middle of the field. When am I going to stream more Tecmo Bowl? When I have someone to play against. Tecmo Super Bowl is one of those games that. That one didn't have much I don't well, guys, you, play the computer really anymore. Otherwise, I have a great time playing other people, but we'll we got to get here. some right live action going the soon. Irish. Bring in their dime package. They should have had a toilet bowl. <laughs> the old, yeah, the old bowl logo game. I, I agree. The old logos for the bowl games are better. I'm not going to play Madden after this, but if I do play le later, I'm going to play... I might do a fantasy draft depending on time and energy because those take those take a while or I'll play some Madden 13 on the Wii those are potential for later that game I really don't have to think much at all when I play it so that's good Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. Tecmo he online. Uh, there's a Discord channel. Also, look up TPC Tecmo. I think that will lead you to the Discord channel. That's TPC Tecmo. Tecmo Bowl Orgs. Orgs are not up anymore. Rolls right. Going deep. 
Also, you could join our Discord that's on the channel, and I'll point you to the direction of who to talk to to get set up online for Tecmo. Super Bowl, it's thriving right now. There's a lot of leagues, like I think HSTL, one of the top leagues, has like three different leagues now. A lot of people are online. I did not make the shift. I played TPC for a little while, like in March and April when the weather was bad, and then I uh, got out of it. OSU feeling the 13. What's up, Daniel? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. All, all the words are running together. They're inside the 20. Yeah, Joe. The Fighting Irish. Line up with six defensive it, You don't need to be good at it. It's just if you want to do it. A lot of guys have fun with it. I know DPS, who's been on this channel a lot, playing Tecmo Super Bowl. He's in a ton of Tecmo online leagues now. More, he's not even playing. He's all about the live action. He passes it. Number 34. Bats it down. The corner comes up with a nice play defending his own end zone. Defense so is sure holding here, making it hard on him. Good play, but I Time's ticking. For not catching that football. Six DBs in the lineup. Hunt. Hunt. Number 13 drops back to pass. He's looking. Oh, man. It's dropped. They're now picking on that corner over there. For another fourth down. Fourth and ten coming up. South Central Glendale Giants. Never heard of them before. There's a lot of drops in this game for picks, which is fine with me. Big time defense there. Notre Dame takes over. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll start this drive. Let's run the option. Oh yes, they shifted to the wrong side. Line up at a three-four. Number seven on the option. He laterals the ball. And he puts oh, that turn. worked out. <laughs> so they almost lost possession there on the option. They're just happy. They Number twenty-one player of the game. Very costly. It's first and ten. Ball on their own twenty-eight. NCAA football, Alabama. I heard they're crushing it right now. Georgia Tech comes out in a four-three. Number seven running the option. He made the decision to go with the running back. Georgia Tech calls a timeout. That was their second time. I'm just having fun with it now. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. <laughs> I just put my hometown in front of the New York. There you go. I yeah, did get lucky with that fumble. And he slides forward. The Yellow Jackets. They're, they still think they're in it. And final timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. Mike says he thinks Ohio State's going to win versus Clemson. Number 22 lines up as a single back. I wouldn't know. Team Prestige, though, those are two of the top football programs in college football, so that sounds like an incredible matchup. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 46. They line up in a double tight set. Drops back to pass. Wow, these guys are coming. Decides to slide. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. That's going to do it. Notre Dame wins the Gator Bowl. 11 and 2. There's the final gun and this game is history. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? There's a trophy, same logo that's on the right on the stream. They had the patch. Thanks Justin. Thanks Adam. I played on not the highest setting all American though. It's a pretty good challenge. Georgia Tech, 14. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time. Oh, thanks, Joe Mama. Yeah, there's a lot of Tecmo videos. Um, up until, you know, sometime last year, we were playing every Monday at a bar, Demon Tap, so there was tons more Tecmo Super Bowl. We did recently do the, the Christmas Eve one, so last week there was a tournament on the channel, but 
not as much as in the past, but as far as knowledge of the game and just breaking down a game, we don't do any more th- with uh, Tecmo Super Bowl um, than we do with any other game. That's that's the core of the one of the core games on the channel. It's also my favorite video game of all time. Period. So obviously, sports one. It's one of those that. At the time, it was the best simulation sports game, and that now it's like the best arcade sports game. So it's it's incredible how that game aged and still awesome to play today. Number 21 comes up big. Five catches, two TDs. He only had that one drop. Quarterback came through, two TDs, a pick. Not much in the running game there. Oh, no, that's Georgia Tech. Looking at the wrong team. 8 for 16, 2 TDs, no picks. Running game was better because of the QB. 8 for 9 is not good for running back. They changed some of the stuff on the WI version. Man, no 4 tonight, maybe. We'll see, Adam. NCAA basketball 21. That's not going to happen. The we? Yeah. Madden 13 on the Wii I'm having fun with. Maybe I'll go to that. It really just depends if I have the time to do it. So, Gator Bowl champion. They show you the plaque. We'll see what happens here after the season's over if they have another rank for me there it is save it to profile one Won multiple trophies and rivalry games and Gator Bowl plaque. We'll not save it right now. Let's see how these other bowl games pan out. This seems like the big day. Simulate. Let's just simulate all bowls at this point. And looks like convert season to dynasty. So I started out as a season because I knew I was only going to do one season of this. But it gives you the option to convert to a dynasty, which is pretty cool. So even if you change your mind, you can switch it to a dynasty. It looks like Texas ended up winning the national championship. I don't know how Virginia got in there at six, but that's what happened. What's up, Smoke? I'm just going to say yes. Yes, number six, get in there in the national championship. That's some college football bootleg. So this is a dynasty. I, I'll save it. I don't know if I'll go back to it as a dynasty. Not enough free space on the memory card. Okay. So what I'll probably do when I play another NCAA football game is I'll switch it up to one of the other years. Either one of the ones from 04 to 06. And do it that way. I'd like to explore one of the other games some more. Um, I hear 06 is the best, so maybe that will be the next one. Yeah, Adam, the one thing I was thinking on the fantasy drafts is that I'll keep stats for uh, everyone that's participating. So, you know, there's been two Madden ones, and I'll have, like, playoff appearances, top GMs, top scouts, and Super Bowl appearance appearances. I think that will be something fun to follow, engage People a little bit more in it, but yeah, I've, I've had good feedback on those fantasy drafts. I think people enjoy them. I like them too, um, but I just, 
I don't want to play a full season like that. I think it just be in one video and then simming to make see if they make the Super Bowl is the way to go. Madden 12. I don't have Madden 12. That one's a little bit more expensive. That was the last one on PS2. I'm not going to do another season in this game. But I might do another season in another college football game at some point. So I wrapped up two ongoing seasons that I've had uh, in this game in NBA Inside Drive 04. I still got one going in Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run. But maybe I'll pick that back up around, you know, baseball time. And really just provide a different alternative for people who like these sports but may not want to see the the propaganda of today's pro and college sports and give you a different outlook on things going on in today's world it is 2021 now so hopefully it is a better year for most everybody there's nothing but propaganda yeah, I like the old version of propaganda where it was like a Miller Lite commercial with guys in their football jerseys having some chips and drinking beer and having a good time. Like that kind of programming I could deal with. But what's going on today, I have to completely reject. And uh, yeah, I don't even turn on the TV for any live feed. It's all... Uh, you know the streaming services where you choose what you watch and that's about it so maybe we'll see you guys later if if we don't we'll see you soon with some more retro sports gaming action look <laughs> are a lot smarter than you used to be i don't know if it's smarter i just um you know, some of the things that I've been aware of go that have been going on, I'm willing to talk about now because the peace has been disturbed. So, you know, it's kind of like uh, withholding information is just as bad as lying in, in some cases, and that's kind of where I'm at. So, you know, I'll continue to speak on what I see, but... Uh, you know, I'm not trying to <laughs> offend anyone, but it's just got to a point where I don't like where things are headed. So I'll talk, you know, some of that stuff in this year like I have been the last, you know, second half of this year. And uh, I think it will be a good thing. But anyways, guys, we'll see you later. Stay free out there and continue to disobey. <laughs> That's hard to offend me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really going for the uh, offended people. Um, since I won't know what they're really trying to push unless I watch YouTube videos of people breaking it down. Then um, I really don't care anymore of what the, how the mainstream is trying to get people to behave. Don't be soft either. Disobey, don't be soft. Be hardcore. I made a meme. <laughs> You're welcome, Adam. I, I made a meme. Uh, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin and Gold Dust. I put it in the Discord channel. And it's like millennials favorite wrestler in the 90s and I put that by Stone Cold and then by Gold Tusk I put millennials in 2020 how they act and it's it's Gold Dust it's like what happened to the you know going to Stone Cold University don't trust anybody just drinking beers and live in a free lifestyle I don't know what happened but that seems to be how it is but anyways i'll see you guys later